today's unboxing video is for the monthly subscription service from Inspirations for candles, wax melts, spa items, and a devotional delivered to your doorstep every month. Now, they have a couple of different subscriptions. They have box subscriptions, which includes uh, different size candles and wax melts and some lotion bars. It just depends on what kind you get. The prices vary. The boxes vary. It just really depends on, well, it depends on what you're looking for. So it's nice that they have so much variety. Um, I did not want another box of um, like spa stuff because I do get spa stuff within a lot of the other boxes that I get. I was mainly interested in trying this subscription service for the candles because I was really looking to find a monthly service where I could get a really good quality candle sent to me. So that's one of the offerings that they have. They do have one for wax melts where you can just get wax melts sent to you every month. Um, I elected to get an eight ounce candle. The candle is 17, basically it's $17 a month because it's like $14 plus $3 shipping and handling. So um, I paid $17 for this eight ounce candle and I get that every month. This is actually my second month getting it. It's December, 2020. Um, so I will open it in just a second, but I did want to show you. So this was my candle from last month, which of course I could only tell you about my, my review, so to speak, on what I could see with the candle because I hadn't actually burned it. This one was evergreen and it had a evergreen fla uh, fragrance. It absolutely was there, um, but it wasn't overpowering. So you can see here, I've burned it down to the end. I can't get any more out of that one. I maybe could get the wax out of it, <laughs> but I wanted to let you know, see, that I got it burned. Um, I will say that I was pretty impressed. I actually like this. I loved that the fragrance was, it was strong, but not overpowering, which is something I look for in a candle. Um, I did burn it initially, which I don't know. I'm learning about candles, so I don't, you know, if you don't know too much about candles, you should know that when you go to burn a candle like this initially, you need to burn it for like two to three hours. You want to get the entire top to be liquid. So the what they call a melt pool. You want it to be the entire part to be liquid. And I found this out. I mean, I knew this. So the first time that I burned this candle, I burned it for about three hours and it had that full melt pool. So the entire top was a liquid layer. And then the second time I burned it, I only burned it for, it wasn't real long. It was maybe an hour. It was between an hour and two hours. And I think probably, oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting the smell from it. Even though it's like just right there. It's not even, I haven't burned this in days. And wow, it smells so pretty. I'm sorry. I got distracted. Um, so the second day I burned it for like an hour, between an hour and two hours. And it didn't get the full melt pool. It didn't, I didn't have the pool all the way across. I had some unmelted wax on the sides. And so what I learned with that is that when you do that, when you blow it out or snuff it, I, I used my snuffer on it. When you get, uh, when you snuff out the flame and you haven't burned all the wax on the sides that you start, the more often you do that, the more you get like a valley in the middle and the candle doesn't really last as long because then you, you start not burning any of the, you're not burning all the wax, okay? So you're just not burning all the wax. So what I learned with this, because I actually had like a, a day or two later where I hadn't burned it enough, I didn't get that full melt pool, um, I actually dumped some of the wax out in order for the wick to stand on its own. So that's not to say there was anything wrong with the wick and the way this was done. It simply had to say that I really needed to burn this longer each time, not as long as the first time, but each time that I burned it, I needed to burn it long enough to get that good melt pool so that it would burn evenly. That is your lesson in candles for today. <laughs> okay, so this is the new month's candle. Oh, actually, I'm just going to cut the edge. Okay. I love that it's well packaged. Actually, let me turn this around so you can see it. Okay. Oh, no, that's just a receipt. Okay. So it comes wrapped in bubble wrap, which is awesome. 
and it comes in this nice thick box. Live, inspire, love, inspa box. Now I'll put a link down to their um, Crate Joy website in case you want to order from them. So this is a nice sturdy box, which is one of the things it comes in bubble wrap. It's a nice sturdy box. The candle fits perfectly in it. Um, it's got a little Bible verse on it. Uh, I want to say that was the same one on my last box. So um, then they give you a devotional. There's a couple pieces of paper in here. So wishing you a Merry Christmas. Awesome. Um, telling you what you got. An eight ounce hand pour poured soy candle. And then there's a little devotional. And this is different from last month. I'll leave it there for a moment. You can kind of peruse it or pause the video and look at it. Okay, I'll read that later. But I like that it's a little devotional. And then the candle's actually wrapped inside. So lots of wrapping going on, which is good. Now they're tins, which, you know, I'm not complaining about their tins. That's good. Okay, so this one is a Christmas morning. Okay. Christmas morning. How are we describing Christmas morning? Now I'm past Christmas at this point. Um, I can't remember. I think this got to me just before Christmas, but I wouldn't have had time to open it up and burn it and all that. So, but that doesn't mean I can't appreciate it now. Okay. So nice. I love that it's nice and smooth. There's no, there's no holes. It looks pretty, you know, that's just a nicety. Oh, I like the smell of that. Man, I can't place it. It's like, I'm sorry, guys. I just hate it when I can't, like, describe them. I'm looking to see if there's something that tells me specifically. No, that's just the warning label. This is going to be one of those candles where I'm going to have my entire family smell it and go, what do you think it smells like? Okay, so I will say this. I like the smell of it. I really like the smell of it, and I'm absolutely going to burn it. I cannot place the fragrance. I'm kind of getting like a floral, like a light floral fragrance, but I'm, I just can't, I don't recognize it. I'm sorry, that's going to bug me now. <laughs> but it's very light at the moment, which is awesome. Now, when I burned the other candle, I got the fragrance while it burned, I got the fragrance. Like, I'm getting the fragrance now off of this candle here from last month. I'm still getting the fragrance off of it. So, um, you know what I probably could do is I probably could cut up the wax in this one and stick it in my wax, my um, wax melt holder. Uh, just an idea. <laughs> uh, so, this is everything that I got in my Inspirations um box service this month. It's just the eight ounce soy candle. I will say that I did burn my other one for a good couple of days. I I actually felt it was um, good quality. It was good quality. It burned well. It smelled well. I mean, it's just, um, it was what I'm looking for in a candle. Now, I'm not an expert by no means in candles. I'm just learning about it now, but I was pretty impressed with this enough so that I am going to keep doing the service because I did like this. And um, hopefully I'll be able to figure out what Christmas morning smells like over here. I'm just not sure. But it is a very nice fragrance. And at the moment, it's not overpowering at all. So um, that's it for today's video. Like I said, I'll leave a link down below to their Crate Joy website and also mine, which will give you a more formal review with pictures. And if I happen to identify the fragrance, I'll put that in my blog post. Um, if you like this video, please take a moment to hit the like button down below. And also, if you subscribe to my channel, you can get notified when I post my unboxings. So um, also, if you want to leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about the unboxing that you just watched. Or if you have any ideas for things you'd like to see me get a hold of or, or any tips. I always love getting tips as well. So um, I read all the comments. I very much appreciate when you take the time to leave them, as I appreciate the time you took to sit here and watch me ramble on about the candles. So thanks so much for watching. You're awesome. Have a great day.